Hey guys, what's up? Today we're looking at finding the angle between a line. And these are the parametric equations that are given. So we want to find the acute angle between a line and a plane. Now a line and a plane could possibly be parallel or they're going to intersect at some point. Now we're not too worried about where they intersect in this example, but we are wanting to find the angle between them. So let's look at the visualization in 3D first of all. All right, so if we take a look at this line, we look at the x, y, and z axes here. This is x, this is y, this is z. So we just have this line in 3D space. You can see it's kind of coming right under the y axis and going down towards the positive x direction a little bit. So it cuts through the space like this. And then we're going we're gonna to put this plane that we have on top of it. And so these two have some acute angle between them. This acute angle you could say is either right here or the acute angle is right over here. So however you want to think about it, the angle is either here or here. We don't care about this obtuse angle. We want the acute angle. So we've got to got to ask ourselves, how are we going to find the acute angle between the plane and the line? Well, first of all, what we could do is find the angle between the normal vector. So I just put the normal vector right here. If we can find the angle between the normal vector and the line, then we should be able to leverage that to get the angle between the plane and the line that we're given. So let's look at finding the angle between the normal vector of the plane and the direction vector of the line. Alright, so first what we're going to do is we're going to find the angle between the normal vector of the plane and the direction vector of the line. So what is the normal vector of the plane? That's our first our first goal or first thing we want to find is the normal vector of the plane. So the normal vector is always just the coefficients of x, y, and z in your plane equation. So 1, negative 1, 2. So the normal vector is 1, negative 1, 2. Now, what is the direction vector for the line? The direction vector for the line is always whatever is multiplied on to t. So negative 1, 2, negative, oh, almost got me there. It's not always the second thing, it's whatever is multiplied by t. So there it is, it's 1. So this is going to be negative 1, 2, 1. So this is our normal vector, this is our direction vector. We want to first find the angle between these two. So cosine of theta 1, we'll call it theta 1, because it's not really the angle we want. It's going to get us the angle we want. So take the dot product of these two. So that's going to be negative 1 minus 2 plus 2 over square root. I'm using this formula up here. 1 plus 1 plus 4 is 6. And then same thing here, 1 plus 4 plus 1 is 6. So this is the magnitude of my vectors going right here, the magnitude of the vectors. Square the components, add them together. Now this is going to be negative 1 over 6. So theta 1 is going to equal arc cosine of negative 1 over 6. So cosine, we've discussed before, cosine is negative in quadrant 2. So this is actually an angle that's greater than pi over 2. So this is an angle between our normal vector and our direction vector for our line, which is greater than pi over 2. So let's get a visualization of what angle we're looking at with that. So the angle we have found is actually this angle right here. So we found the obtuse angle between the vector, the normal vector, and the line. So how can I get just this small angle down here between the line and the plane if I have this obtuse angle from the normal vector to the line? Well, it actually looks like if I take away pi over 2, then I'll get to the angle. So our angle that we want, theta, theta, it's going to equal arc cosine of negative 1 over 6, which is the obtuse angle between the line and the normal vector, minus pi over 2. And that would be the angle between the line and the plane. So just to, just to visualize it one more time, 
we've got this plane, we've got this line coming out like this, and I got this normal vector right here. And we found the angle that goes from here down to here, from the normal vector down to the line. But we wanted just this angle here, theta. This is theta 1. So we took theta 1 minus pi over 2 to just get theta down here. And that would be our answer. That's the angle, the acute angle between the line and the plane.